reporters following this breaking news story, a school shooting that has taken place at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. We are learning new details. I want to bring in Meredith Artley. She is managing editor of CNN.com, and uh -huh. she just spoke with an eyewitness who was inside of the school. Uh, I have to warn our viewers, uh -huh. I understand that uh, some of the details about what she actually witnessed is pretty gruesome. Um, Meredith, what did uh -huh. you say to you? Uh, three people went out into the hall, and uh, only one, only one person came back. Just sitting here, thinking to myself, 2012, we had so many deaths, but the kind of deaths that was really hard felt, brutal murders, a lot of fuck the cards was dealt, it's getting harder and harder out here to live, thinking of life, second guessing what it really is, what you make it, or simply what comes to you, just listen, hoping I ain't sounding dumb to you, don't get me wrong, cause I love mine, but when I think about them little kids got killed, man, I hope Oh man, a little tighter at night, spend time a little longer Taking nothing for granted, keeping that bond stronger Cause you never know what the next day bring Stay prayed up, the world we in is based off sin And our modern day killers is our goddamn kids Yeah, the devil working hard to keep our man within Cause on the real Good morning, a masked gunman is reported to have opened fire At a premiere of the new Batman film in the United Batman. States A hospital in Denver says around 20 people huh? were injured Don't got time to pray for a better way Hope is limited when you got no safe place to stay Our positive leaders running out of hope for words to say The world is turning for the worse In every way, shit we see here Happens across the water every day Sirens and pistols, big guns and missiles Not even thinking about a sport when they hear that whistle uh, From movie theaters to elementary schools Poor excuse of a human walking around with high power tools Weak minded pussy snaps and goes on the ramp Page. Copycat killers trying to build up a fan page uh, You just never know what the next day bring Stay prayed up, the world we in is based on sin And our modern day killers is our goddamn kids Yeah, the devil working hard to keep our man within Cause on the real Good evening Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden Gunshot injuries. Yeah, primarily we're seeing gunshot, gunshot wounds this time. And what kind of uh, preparations do you make uh, when you are told uh, of police of an incident of this scale? That she was, you know, she was under the table. That the shooting happened in the hallway. And to hear her describe it, she said that there was, there must have been a hundred, a hundred rounds. And I, I, I asked her to clarify that. I said, really, truly, a hundred rounds. And she said, she said at least. She said that uh, she said that there was confusion. There was yelling, and, and, and understandably, she said there was yelling in the hallway, and uh, she couldn't uh, she couldn't tell for a while if it was the police or the shooter. Uh, when I talked to her, she was still inside the school. The school's on lockdown. It was nearly ten years ago. The bright September day was darkened by the worst attack on the American people in our history. The images of 9-11 are seared into our national memory. Hijacked planes cutting through cloudless September sky. The Twin Towers collapsing to the ground. Black smoke billowing up from the Pentagon. The wreckage of Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, where the actions of heroic citizens saved even more heartbreak and destruction. And yet we know that the worst images are those that were unseen to the world. The empty seat at the dinner table, children who were forced to grow up without their mother or their father, parents who would never know the feeling of their child's embrace. Nearly 3,000 citizens taken from us, leaving a gaping hole in our hearts.